Drum solo! This is Busking Bot. It's made by a user on Thingiverse called Free Time for Why. They have a site called Happy Time Maker that has a ton of cool robots like this. They're easy to build, they're very inexpensive, it plays the drums, so I had to build one. The robot is almost fully 3D printed. You do need a couple of MG90 servos to move the arms, and you can control it with pretty much anything. I am using a servo controller here, which is kind of expensive, but you can use an Arduino. If you go the Arduino route, you can probably build this thing for less than $20, and that includes a cheap power supply. So let's get right into the build. Here's the printed parts you'll need. You need a base. You need a robot body. You need to print two of the stick all-in-one STL files, one for each arm. Print two of the stick heads. And there's even an optional 3D printed drum you can print. I also printed a couple of spirals to use his eyes to give him kind of a crazy look. And here's the non-printed parts. You need a couple of MG90 servos. I'm using the metal geared ones, and you'll need the accessories kit for both of those. To control the robot, you can use a lot of different things. I'm going to use a Palulu servo controller because I happen to have one, but you can use an Arduino, or you can go check out their site. They're using a Bluetooth module and a cell phone app. If you want some example Arduino code to control servos, check out the MK1 robot arm video. And you'll need some sort of power supply. I'm just using a PC power supply because I have one laying around, but any 5 volt power supply will do as long as it has a high enough amperage. Shoot for around 3 amps. You'll also need some type of glue to put the model together. I'm just going to use super glue, but you could probably use hot glue or a lot of different things, just depending on what you like to use for printed parts. The first thing we'll do is put together the arms. The center section is what actually holds the horn in, and then you glue the outer pieces onto it. Put the single-sided horn that you get with the kit into the printed part. It'll look like this. Take the piece with the smaller hole and glue it on top of that piece. Like so. And then the part with the larger hole will go on the back side. There's one completed. And there's both. Now you want to mount your servos onto the main body in these holes. The gear will actually go to the top. You might have to trim your body a little bit to get these to fit, but they should fit pretty well. There's one in. You can just use the screws that came with your servo kit. There's both servos installed. Now we'll want to glue the main body onto the base. It fits just like this. Now the base is on. I'm going to go ahead and cable the servos to the Palulu controller. I want to power the servos on and get them into the center position. If you're using one of these Palulu controllers, remember the outside pin is ground and the center one is positive. On these servos, the brown wire is negative and the red wire is positive. So we'll just plug it into channel 0 and channel 1. Now plug the power into your servo board. Remember again, the outside pin is ground. Cable up your controller via USB to your PC and then turn your power on. Now we'll head out and grab the Palulu controller software. We'll go to downloads, unzip all, click setup. Next all the way through the install and click closed. Open the Palulu software and then enable your zero and one servos. Now you should be able to control the zero and one servos and let's set them to the center value on the slider for now. Now you can disable the servos and unplug your board if you want to. Now we can put the stick heads on the arm. These are tight enough that you can probably just slip them on. No need to glue them. There's the mallets. Now we can put the arms on the body. Since the servos are now in the center position, I'm going to start with the arms just slightly pointing down. Now put the servo screw in to tighten up the horn onto the servo gear. Now the arms are on and screwed down snug. I thought I'd add some of these spirals for some cool looking eyes. Now he's looking sharp. The Palulu controller makes things really convenient to create sequences. So a drumming action. 
So we'll create a new sequence, and then we'll go back to status. Let's move the left stick and the right stick up a little. We'll move the left stick down to hit the drum, and we'll save frame. We'll lift the left stick, and we'll move the right stick down to hit the drum. And we'll save frame. Then we'll move the stick back up. And we'll save frame. Now go back to sequence. Play in a loop. Play sequence. And you can get as complicated, as fast, or as slow as you want with these sequences. You can even create them as scripts. I hope you enjoyed the video of this 3D printed build. I encourage you to head out to Thingiverse and check out Free Time for Y and all of their designs. I'll leave all their information in the description below. If you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to my channel. If not, leave your thoughts below, and as always, thanks for watching. Just keep drumming. <laughs>